Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, today we are going to uh, talk about how to solve this, and I'm going to try to do the best I could without any special tool, special like helping tool or helping hand, uh, because you could buy something that helped you hold things, and uh, so this this is the the solid iron. is is uh, it's not expensive. Got the the cheap one. Make sure that the tip is uh, is clean, and if it's not clean, it's not going to do the job. Okay, so every time you do like one or two or three, and it's, you feel like there's a black spot on it, uh, clean it. Okay, or if you have to turn it off and, and use uh, some kind of metal, like you scrubbing the pan or stuff. This is pretty much just what it, it is. But it's a more softer, it's not as, uh, as hard as the one you wash the... Well, it's, it's similar. It's the same similar one that you wash dishes with. You just rub it around it and make sure it's clean. Okay? Because you, you do want it to be clean. Otherwise, uh, the contact... The, the contact of the... It will not do well. Okay? And so, make sure of that. And also, you want to get a sponge that is kind of wet, and you want to clean clean it. You know, clean the black thing off the your your. So my tip is pretty clean right now. Okay, I already started soldering a little bit, uh, but I realized I need to go ahead and do a video on this as well. Okay, because uh, I also purchased two more that's coming. So I was thinking, you know, I want to solder it, make sure it work, test it before I. Do a video and add, you know, have you guys do the same thing I'm doing and turn out, you know, maybe they don't want to find a better way. But hopefully this is the correct way that my the decision that I made, hopefully that will, uh, we will do some testing after we physically, uh, once I physically solder all this, I'm going to do some testing. Make sure the decision I make would be the, the correct one. Now, here's the, the way the way the cable is that the power cable, the power cable and the the audio is is the cable is not that long, so it goes directly to the RGR board. So you want it to face this way, and you want it to uh uh the the one that you plug in have a little uh sticky tape. It's very good. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Gorilla sticky tape maybe I don't know that's the one I bought but anyway you want to go ahead and and tape it on here okay and you once you tape it you have some space over here in the back so to me since you already have a a, a cup a heat sink here and a heat sink here uh, the fan is actually made to put the heat sink right on top right here and then plug in in like this okay like so but we have that uh, sandwich thing that I, I call it <laughs> audio audio sandwich you know you, you sandwich this together and there's no space at all and one thing I don't like is Adafruit like to use the GPI ILO I know they they know how to write a program for it and everything but the problem I don't like about uh, the the way that they do this is that whenever you put a video call like that you don't have any space for putting uh, uh, any kind of special uh, you only, you could put heat sink but you can't put fan in there so when it get hot how are you gonna suck the hot air out so that's the problem and when CPU get too hot the performance go down now those of you who's not a advanced uh, user that doesn't understand this hardware stuff like soldering stuff you could play without it. Just remember about if a system reboot itself or it start to run kind of slow in some way, then that's a time for you to like give the system a break, a timeout, let it cool down. Or you could have a fan, uh, like I have a small fan, I put it right next to it and blow on it. That probably be the cheapest way. And but if you like in the cold weather, you don't have to worry about it. outside it's cold, you know. So. Those kind, there's, there's some other advice that I'm giving you so you don't have to go through all this. Uh, me, I, 
I have soldering me solder uh, machine and everything uh, the equipment so I'm gonna go ahead and solder it okay and I'm gonna put this uh, sticky fan and put it over here where the the memory is uh, and then take that memory uh, this out and tape it right here and uh, maybe I'll tape it close to where the SD card well there's no SD card anyway so it's not gonna mess up the SD card if it get overheated so I'm gonna put it right here and so that way I have a I have something to hold it up and this will hold it up so I put it right here and that way at least if it get hot it's gonna blow some air out of the system and keep the system kind of cool in, in in some way. It's not going to do an excellent job where it's supposed to be cooling the processor, but we cannot put this on top of the processor. And since already have a heat sink, the main thing of the fan is to blow the air, the heat out of the, the system. So I'm going to put this uh, underneath here, and I'm going to take that off so it won't be so high. And then I'm going to put it right here. And that's where I'm gonna uh, draw a hole. Uh, I'm gonna uh, use a paper and draw the the space of how big this is, and I'm gonna draw a small hole in the back here of the the system, so that way uh, I could put it right there. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, one step at a time. We let's go ahead and solder the the equipment. Once we get it soldered, then that's one step closer to to completion. So. And I don't really like soldering. I, I hate soldering because I I don't know much about soldering. You know, I know I I play around with it and and try to figure out what's the best way to solder this. And right now I just put some uh, some of the the iron onto. I think you call it iron. I'm not sure. Uh, don't 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 kill me because if I say the wrong English terminology, uh, I apologize because this is not really the hardware is not really my area. Okay, so anyway, I put the solid iron here and here, and then I skip a space and, and then I put another one here. So the third one was the hardest one because it's between those two. So I recommend it, I wanted to put a marquee light. That's the reason I'm doing this. But there's a chance that I might not even do it because if I have problem putting that thing on with this, it's best to just leave the three alone and then just do that and ground, you know, five volt and ground for the fan. Okay, that's what we are aiming for. So what I did is uh, I put the iron, uh, pulled it out, and I'll put the description where you could buy this if you plan to 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 do soldering, and if you. Uh, hopefully this video will help. Okay, so what I do is I I, I let it melt, and once it melt, uh, the the iron, uh, the soldering iron will will stick onto this uh, this head, and then I just touch it, and then it will drop to the metal, and then I remove it. Okay, that's how I did it. All right, so that's how I got those put on, and and then the way I got this got this. Uh, got this I also put solid iron on it now the question is well Johnny how am I gonna put a solid iron if I'm holding this and then I'm my other hand is doing this how am I gonna put it the solid iron on it so the best way is you put it close to the table you know like so and have some something hold it so it won't fall you know something holding it so it won't fall and can y'all see this uh, maybe I need to move it let me move it to the edge of the table. There you go. Okay. So what I did is I put this close to the table and I got the solid iron. Now you have to put some iron, uh, solid iron. I don't I guess you call this solid iron. What's the correct terminology name for this? Uh quart solder. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry for the screen moving this too close to the okay. So anyway, that that's the the name. I don't really don't know the name. Anyway, I'm gonna put some of this on top of this. So I'm touching this.
There you go. I got some on it. You want to do the same. All right. And then that way you could, you know, now, a while ago, I hold it. I hold it so close to this. You don't. I don't recommend you gonna because once it get too hot, your pan is gonna get burned. So you want to pull it out longer and hold it on the on the plastic. Is uh, you know, well half plus half half a finger on the plastic, half a finger on this, so you could you know move around. But you want to pull it a little bit longer than having it that short because it, I was running running low on. Uh, I didn't pull this more out. It's okay. So you don't want to burn your hand if you have it too close. You when once you heat it up, this whole thing will get hot. I'm oh, sorry, this whole thing will get hot, and then you might burn your hand. You know. All right. So now we have this put on. Uh, we could use the one that I just made, and and then yo yo, I boy, see all this. Ah, uh, let me move it back again. Okay, so the one I just made, uh, this one, I'm going to put that with the ground, and I'm going to aim it this way. So it looked like got it. It's good. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> Non-professional teaching people how to do this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this. You guys getting? Is the screen close enough? Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in more. Okay, that's the most I could zoom. Okay. So I got one stuck onto it. All right. I mean, as long as you hold it, that's all you need. You know, it doesn't. I mean, you don't. You don't want to try to pull it out. Of course, you. We are strong, strong. We could pull this apart, but as long as it stick, that's good. That's the main thing. Okay. So we're gonna put that in a five volt. There you go. Good. I got it. Wasn't too bad. <clears throat> that's why you have to put some. Now this one I, I overkill. Okay, you guys see this? This one I overkill. I put too much on, on it. So that's too much. You don't you don't want to put that much. Because then it's gonna start dripping into that little thing and it might drop the whole it might mess up that little uh connection because your connection is very small. So I'm glad I redid it uh because I just need to barely put a little bit uh oop. Sorry, let me get it closer. I just need to put a little bit on this metal tip, and then, and then uh, that way has the the iron, the solder iron melted on this uh, metal, and then uh, then together touching that round ball that I that I drop onto top, then now it's connected. So I'm ready to plug in my fan. All right. <clears throat> So let me zoom back out. Okay, so it's a success. It's good. Uh, it's kind of uh, sticking up higher than I planned it. So I don't know if I push it in, would it create a, a would it with the iron. Would it be touching the? It shouldn't be touching it. Let's check it out. If it does, you, then you don't want it have it that high. You know, this one is actually is better. You know, it's not touching anything, but it's not like super high like this one. So I might have to redo that one. Let's see. No, I think you have enough space to put all that in. Okay. All right. So before you put that in, you have to put the the video cable on okay and the video cable just so that you know there's two color one is the the con contact 
the metal, the contact, and the other one is just black or, or dark blue. So you want to <coughs> you want the contact to be facing downward. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, Adafruit, apparently you have to put the blue color or the the blue or the dark color uh, facing up, and then the 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 more silver silver part need to face down. Okay, so you will get the contact that you need for the cable. All right, so we're gonna put it in like so, and once you put it in, you're gonna go ahead and snap it back on. Now, you might be wondering, say, well, Johnny, you said you were going to replace the cable. I want to give it a chance. I I, I think maybe because I have the Pi and, and the video, everything, video car and Pi sitting on top of the the video car, which might have created the problem. Because I see some bump on it, but I don't see a hole on it, you know. And, and I just realized that my joystick have the same issue because... I should have because I've been I've been taking it out, put it in, and testing it. I did not mount it on the side, and that had probably put some torn and worn out onto the cable. And I don't know that that probably will be an issue. But if it's too much an issue, I'm I will have to go ahead and replace uh, replace it. So in the meantime, I'm not going to replace it now. Just I want to see what happened if it still have been video still jumping up and down after I mount all this I will probably take it out and uh, and change the cable out okay all right so let's go ahead and sandwich this together like so so it look like it's not going it have some sp some space between it so it's not gonna hurt anything by having it that high hopefully not we will find out pretty soon. Once I push it together, if it break apart, then we know that it is sticking up too high. And look like it is sticking up too high because I can't push it down. All right, because the the piece is holding it up. All right, let me take this out and we solder that. And the way you we solder it, oop, I'm so sorry, I kicked this stupid stand all right so to resolder it you just have to heat it up and once it's heated up you could bend it down and hopefully that does not take the soldering iron out I don't want it okay I'm not left-handed but I'm using my left nah let me let me just turn it around and use my right hand instead ah, the cable is walking around with me be careful with the cable. Last time I was doing soldering and I damaged my cable. And then I tried to fix it and I damaged the... I want to see... I'm going to try to see if I can replace that one because I messed up. Uh, I didn't we, I didn't unplug it and it was soldering on top and dropped the iron into the cable. Alright. So I got it too high. So we need to... You guys able to see all this? Oh no. You're not able to see all this because my hand is in the way. All right, let's change direction. Let me zoom in. Ah, uh, let me use my other hand. See if I could. Okay. So mine is 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 too high, uh, forty five degree, and Pi doesn't like it. So I need to have it uh, flush down. So let me change my my direction of my hand. I need to touch that. This two sides to bring it down, and while I'm heating it up, I'm gonna to try to push it down so it won't. There you go, it's doing it. Good, excellent. And plus the the metal iron is is facing up, not facing at the any any of the contact at the bottom. So that's good. And this one is flush down, so that's good. So both are down, I think. Let me make sure. Make sure this piece is not 
lose. Okay, it's good. All right. So both are good and they're down and it, it look it look good. It look nice. They uh and the reason I chose to use this cable even though it's kind of pretty long is that it have already had the pin here and I just I could just plug it in. I don't have to permanent solder the the fan into into it. I could just uh plug it in like this. Let me zoom back in. So I could just uh plug it in. Now I need to figure out which one is what. Uh black is uh if you could see The black is on my left side and the red is on the right side. So uh, which one is my 5 volt? The white one is my 5 volt. So the white one is the power need to go to the red. Okay. Uh, all right. So as you can see, the red is on this side. So the white one is plugged into the five volt, the white one, and the gray one will be plugged into the the other side, which is the black. Okay. And I'm gonna have them both silver sides facing the same direction. Okay. All right. So. Once I plug them together and plug the power, then uh, I could make sure the fan is working. All right. Uh, before I plug anything in, just want to make sure the fan is working. And then once it's working, then uh, I could unplug this and maybe make this one a little bit shorter, like like tie wrap it, like you know, put it like this, like this, and maybe put a, a put a rubber band around it like this or something. You know, so that way it won't be so long. You know okay so let's put this two together let's zoom out I mean zoom in okay all right so we got the fan plug in so we need to make sure it work first before we go to all the trouble on uh, mounting it and we are going to sandwich this okay so the this is called the GPI port which stand for general purpose input uh, why did can you see it is why they say GP right there in that top corner GPIO see that okay all right so this is the Bluetooth uh, no this is a this is a Bluetooth this is a white internet I think this is a Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi. Oh, this is making you UK. And then this one, you don't need to put any heatsink on this one. This one you do. This is a processor that do get hot. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead. Now everything is flat, flat on the board as you can see, pretty flat down on the board. Yeah. So that it's not sticking up. So we, now we can sandwich sandwich this. Okay. We already got a cable in. Because if you don't put the cable in, it's going. Once you plug, once you push it together, it's going to be hard to, uh, you know, to do that. All right. Now it's it's sandwich. Now one thing. Uh, one thing I I did not like the idea is, is covering this uh, HDMI. So I rather not it cover it so I could use it, but because once you put it in like this, sandwich it, 